A makeover is in the works tonight for a community park that's been plagued by past violence and crime, including several gang-related killings. News 12's crime reporter Krista McNally tells us about the revitalization plans in Freeport. Calmetto Park in Freeport has been the scene of a suspected MS-13 killing in 2016. Not only has it had criminal activity, the 36-acre park has also fallen into disrepair. When I went the last time, it was kind of like pretty like red. The empty park is filled with broken benches, shattered light posts, and a vacant marina not in use since Superstorm Sandy. This is a beautiful area with such potential. The ribbon was cut on a $2.5 million revitalization project that will allow for some major upgrades to the park, including two new dog parks, a 50 boat marina, concession stand, spray park, a beach, and more. Village officials say that by this summer, lifeguards will be on stands at the beach and majority of the planned projects will be complete. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. I want to see everybody with their children down here on the beach. These changes come as the park has been officially transferred from county ownership to the village. The residents will see a substantial increase in a police presence down here. I see no reason why we don't have an officer in here 90% of the time. Residents were excited for the new amenities and welcomed the new safety measures. That's pretty good that I'm making it safe, especially here in Freeport with all the past recent crimes that have been committed. So I think that's pretty good. That's necessary, especially nowadays where so many things are going on. I think the safety for our children and for everyone else is important. In Freeport, Krista McNally, News 12, Long Island. And Freeport officials say the money to fund this project comes from villages reserve money and residents won't see an increase in their taxes. Those repairs begin next week.